it was always a convenience thing. Where can I fly it? How safe can I make it? I don't yeah. want to crash it. Yep. If I lose it, how do I get it back? Hey, what's going on guys? Steve here. I am here with my buddy Rob. We are headed out right now. He brought his drone into work today, so we are gonna go out and he's gonna show me how to fly it. All right, so we just got here to the park. We are gonna be opening up the drone right down here. Rob's gonna show me how to use it and then we're gonna fly it back out on this wilderness area. It should be pretty fun, so let's check it out. So this is the Mavic Pro, came out last year. It shoots 4K if you wanna shoot 4K. I shoot 2.7 which is good enough um, from what I understand because 4K is going to take a lot, a lot of memory and it takes a lot of work to edit. And so, it drops your battery lifetime too, doesn't it? It does, yeah. But 2.7 seems to be really good. That way you can uh, refine it down to 1080 and have a really good sharp picture. Flight time says estimated 27 minutes, but in reality it's 20 minutes and you have to remember if you're going too far, you got to come back. So... Yeah, don't forget yeah. the flight back. Yeah, so to actually fly, it's just... Taking off the cover, you got yourself the um, brace here that has to come off. These props come off first. Let me flip these out. Now, if you want, you could spread the propellers, or they'll spread themselves by spinning out soon. So, so that's what this guy looks like. And it doesn't have feet on the back, just feet on the front? Right, it's got these little feet right oh, here. Gotcha. So that'll do it. They actually sell another f accessory that you can guy buy aftermarket for a taller feet but those are for people that are worried about uh, dirt because you don't really want to launch or land on dirt because the dirt's going to get into these uh, fans in here there's actually cooling fans right here that can get uh, get messed up so you don't want to do that i've i've done and hand caught it and hand launched it okay so i'm going to get my polar pro yeah, Polar Pro lenses or uh, ND filters. Because again, like I said, it's a super bright day. I'm looking for my 32. I think it's this one. No, nope, that's the one on the right. So this is ND32. Okay. So it's going to cover a brighter sun. I have 16 and 8. So 8 would be maybe afternoon sun. Um, 16 is going to be a little bit brighter. But they said for a full bright day, use 32. Or if you're out in the snow too. It's gonna connect and then uh, Steve's gonna take over once I get in the air. <laughs> I'm kinda nervous about this. I'll put it on tripod mode so that way you can't go fast. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'll go slow, every motion slow. Okay. So you can't go with the joystick. So let's launch this guy. And it has the map so it tells you where you're going. And the filter's working really great because it's a super bright day, but it's not overly exposed. When you're actually flying this thing, are you watching the drone itself or do you just follow? I'm looking at this. Okay. So this one adjusts Actually, turning? I made this wrong. This is turning. Okay. This one's panning right in there. The Inspire and stuff would have. The, the Inspire, or that big ass one, or the... Um, or the Eagle has landed. <laughs> we did it. It's landed. I don't know. My initial thoughts, that thing was, it was scary. It's scary to go that far out with something that expensive and worry about crashing it. But I would think that once you kind of get used to the controls and knowing, you know, your right hand controls it, you know, a certain way and left hand controls other features of it. Um, it seems like fun. I mean, you've had it for a few months now, right? A year actually. You I barely drove now. it because it was always a convenience thing. Where can I fly it? How safe can I make it? I don't yeah. want to crash it. Yep. If I lose it, how do I get it back? Yeah. So it was like oceans and other places I was like, man, I'm really scared to do it. So yeah. it, it does take a lot of confidence, yeah. but it's just like you're driving a car or like driving anything. 
you get a little bit nervous and after a while you get a little bit more comfortable yep. but at the same time don't get too comfortable because that's when you lose it <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no matter exactly. what it doesn't matter you, if it's you've had a, or car you've had a couple experiences like that right yes I actually had this spot right here. I uh-huh. took out 2,000 feet and I didn't know where I was going. <laughs> and I lost my bearings. But what's good is that it has a return to home, hit the return to home, and it'll come home to your spot. Yeah. So that's, that's what saved me. And that's actually, a lifesaver. Yeah, and it actually helped me get a nice uh, shot. <laughs> so your secret is RTH, return to home. <laughs> when awesome. all else fails, return to home. Return to home. <laughs> so make sure the GPS picks up. If it doesn't pick up, that's where you're in trouble. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, I hope you guys like this video. Um, we're gonna head back to work, but it was fun. It was fun to take it out, kind of play around, with that, play around with it for the first time. I'm looking forward to finding it some more. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, it's my buddy, Rob. He's got a channel, Rob Demango. Check it out, and uh, we'll see you guys again.